For today's video, we're going to be testing the 168 grain Acubon Long Range out of a 30-06. My first couple shots will be reduced loads, simulating a longer range shot, trying to test the lower end velocity of the bullets, and then I'll flip my blocks and shoot a high velocity load. That bullet just tumbled in the gel. And it was going 1,485. 185 feet per second. Faster than what Nosler says the minimum rating is on these. I have found with the 30 cal in particular that they need closer to 1,600 plus feet per second on impact to actually mushroom and perform. So I'm going to try a little hotter load and get closer to that 1,600 foot per second mark. Well, it might be in that board, but... Come over to the other side here. And, although I can see the tip, it looks like the tip broke off and, again, just tumbled. And we're at 16.37. Bump it up a little hotter yet, and see what it takes to get these bolts to actually have controlled expansion. Still didn't catch a bullet. I'm going to go ahead and shoot another shot and try to get a little higher up here in the gel as that one follows another track way too close for me to tell for sure what's going on there.
I can see where my bullet stopped in there. And I still didn't bring that up much. I have one, two, three of them that hit about right there. That last one was traveling just over 1,700 feet per second, and it did open up that mushroom. We just didn't catch it. This one we did catch. So let me get some rough measurements on that real quick. We have both of those last two penetrating almost six inches before they start to open. Your really good heavier portion of that permanent wound cavity is from the six and a half inch mark to just past the 14 inch mark where it tapers down and then pin lines and you got the leading edge of that bullet at 30 and an eighth with the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity being three and a half. From the top, I can definitely distinguish those last two a little bit better and we are three and five eighths. lost the first chunk of that bullet. I'll put weight retentions in the video description. That one was going 1,871 feet per second. So I would say with these on that bottom end, definitely make sure your impact velocities are over 1,600 feet per second. Probably be smart to keep them over 1700 feet per second so that you know that bullet's actually going to have controlled expansion and not just tumble. Walk off a little bit so we can see what's going on here. That one was traveling at. 2,791 feet per second. And you have it starting to open up at about three quarters of an inch from the inch and an eighth mark to 
the nine inch mark is where you get that more explosive portion of the permanent wound cavity where it tapers down but carries some to just past the 16 inch mark pin lines and your leading edge is at 25 and 3 eighths that good portion of that permanent wound cavity is four and a half by four and a quarter and you got a good mushroom bullet these are designed for that first half of that bullet to come apart quickly at the lower velocities so that it makes a better long-range bullet but then the uh, the jacket gets a lot thicker towards the base and being bonded so you still get good deep penetration even on your higher velocity shots overall not a bad performing bullet these are what I shoot out of both my 308 and my 30 out six I typically don't shoot past four or five hundred yards anyways so these bullets would be well within that uh, low-end expansion rate